That's a question every journalist has grappled with at some point in time. How much can you shape a scene before it becomes artificial? Case in point, a recent CNN live shot that may have been just a bit too hands-on. Adam has more. And what I want to show you now, viewers, um, is a wonderful scene. Um, these are uh, Muslim mums. After terrorists killed eight people on and around London Bridge, CNN's Becky Anderson did a segment highlighting Muslim protesters who turned out to condemn the attacks. Uh, a poignant scene and a scene we should sit on just for you viewers uh, to understand exactly how people feel here. But then a video captured by a passerby raised questions about the scene's authenticity. Conservatives took note, accusing CNN of, you guessed it, fake news. They were filmed seemingly staging a group of anti-terror Muslim demonstrators behind a camera shot in order to create a pro-Muslim narrative. CNN calls that allegation nonsense, adding, police let demonstrators through the cordon to show their signs. CNN, along with other media, simply filmed them doing so. The fact-checking site Snopes agreed, noting the demonstrators were also covered by other outlets. They've come to split us, but that will not happen. But even when a reporter echoes President Trump verbatim, Evil losers. Evil losers. It's clear that conservatives don't support CNN. Well, Callie, despite what Snopes says, there was definitely a little bit of manipulating going on here. Stand there, move there. I mean... I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go so far as to call it staging, but I would say that they got into the shot. Remember that? We did a piece last fall, I think it was November, where people put up that police tape shot. I can't even remember. It was some horrific crime, but that was totally staged because there was no police tape mm -hmm. there. These people were at least there. So what I would say is, having been in the field in a situation like this, if they moved behind you, not staged. If you're at, at any way interacting with them except to say, get out of my shot, which is a different thing, yeah. um, then, you know, I, I don't think, I think they're right on the line. And the reason I'm saying they're right on the line, in the wider shot, you see other news outlets saying, get out of the shot. We're trying to film them. Yeah. And you're in it, lady from CNN. Yeah. So you're blocking my shot, yeah. which says to me that, uh, that just what CNN said happened, did happen in that they left them come out so everybody could film them. But I got to say, because she was in the front and she was taking up space, she is right on the line. Yeah. So that's where I would leave it. It would it, it, it better for her to have aired the other way. Mm -hmm. She should have probably moved out of the way. If they got settled and she still wanted to do her stand up, so be it. But mm -hmm. but to be there and saying, well, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, that's that's a little much. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of a basic rule of photo manipulation is that if you're going to manipulate a photo, make it obvious to everybody that you've manipulated the photo, and then you don't have an ethical problem. In this particular case, you've got real demonstrators who did show up, and uh, it's obviously staged. And since it's obviously staged, I don't see what the issue is. We mean obviously I staged. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, no. I don't think. I, I don't think. I mean, I mean you can tell that they've all been. Well, because people don't naturally stand together posing for a group. Yeah. But the police let well, them the police through. Let yeah. them the, the, the news outlets. They, they went and yeah. put their flowers yeah. down. Yeah. And I, I agree. This is one of those that's yeah. sort of right on the line. It's this happens so often when you're out there mm -hmm. doing a story, whether it's you know this kind of uh, you know showing uh, you know support after a tragedy or whether it's a protest where they want to get in front of the camera and they have their signs and someone will always say hey you know can you can you turn sideways a little mm -hmm. bit i think you know and and that's it's sort of this fine line you don't want to really be directing it right. but i think what you have to do and what i have often done is i'll say to my photographer hey can you just move it over slightly so you move your camera mm -hmm. so you, you're not asking them to move right um that's but but and it you is, get what you get right yeah. but you also yeah. have to you have to though think about it now in right. these days when everyone has a camera they can That's be right. streaming things out live or posting it later and so things that in the past may have just sort of happened with no intent no malice behind it but nobody knew about it now right. they can see it immediately and it can be interpreted in so many different ways and in a way cnn saying we didn't do any staging or we didn't stage it, that's nonsense. All we did was let them in. When people can see the producers yeah. waving and saying, move over there, um, that 
undercuts their credibility right. in a sort of a tragic way because in this case, as Dan pointed out, these were actual yeah. Muslim protesters who, who turned out to say, don't use our religion or don't name our religion as you do these uh, horrible acts. And that's totally fallen by the wayside. My guess is that a lot of the people who are buying the idea that this is fake news thought that they were you know, actors hired by yeah, Senate right, or something yeah, exactly. like that, which they were not. Right. Also, one point that Mediaite made as they were writing about this, which I think is a very good one, is that the reporter in question was over-emoting throughout yeah, this thing. She true. was saying, look at this scene, let's linger on this scene, yeah, exactly. what a wonderful, heartwarming yeah. scene. Right. And then, conversely, she was echoing President Trump, saying, yes, they are evil losers, the people who did it. <laughs> Just take it down a notch, yeah. calm down, describe what you're seeing, mm -hmm. uh, don't make yourself so much a Yeah, part she of was so, right. it's such a heartwarming scene. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, just, we'll, we'll be the judge. Yeah. Right. right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that when you're out there, it's the emotion of the moment. And you That's know, there, there's always someone talking in your ear. It's a producer who says, I, do, I can't see anything behind you. You know, I can't read what they're saying. And so all of that's, uh, you know, in play here. But I do, I also agree with what you said is that, you know, some of the language that she was using almost felt like she was editorializing, that she was doing a presentation on behalf of the protesters. I did have a little bit of a problem yeah. with that. But I think, you know, now this has sort of been, you know, it's been passed around, shared, millions of times or however many times, and that has taken away from the story and right. sort of feeds into the whole narrative of what the mainstream media is doing and fake news. And, 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 and one other thing I would say is that, you know, we think that we're in an era of, of sophistication where people understand how these things work. Right. They, these are just your normal protesters, and you're like, oh, we can get a better shot if we move over here? Okay. Right. You know, yeah, I mean, no, they don't no. know. They didn't know. You know it wasn't know. their fault. Yeah. Right. 